What's up guys? We're gonna do a little challenge. Um, two rifles, both 6.5. Right here we have a, it's a pretty new cartridge, it's a 6.5 PRC. Both rifles I'm shooting are browning, both 26 inch, inch barrels. Uh, the PRC is just roughly 200 feet per second, a little better out of the box. I'm shooting Hornady match ammo on both of them, 147 grain. So the PRC, we used it for hunting moose this year, it was good, match ammo. Shooting these rifles, I got this uh, precision armament, armament, armament M11 break. It is uh, way less recoil than the Creedmoor with a stock browning break, just so you guys know. So this one here again is a max long range. I think in 2020 they have some max long range, uh, different different color patterns as a browning brought out as opposed to just the black. Both scopes are identical. I just got the sunshade on one. They're Vortex Viper PSD Gen 2 525 by 50. They're both second focal plane MOE reticle. Um, both have a have a uh, level on them, anti-cant device. This one here actually has the Vortex, pretty fancy one. I like it more because when you're lined up with the scope, you can see it with your left eye. Whereas this one, you kind of have to pick up your head. So this rifle here is a 6.5 Creedmoor. It's a Browning Hell's Canyon Long Range Macmillan. This is with the Ambush stock. Um, both really nice rifles. They both have one and seven twists. They both really like the the uh, 147 match the most. I don't I don't hand load, so I don't shoot enough to warrant it. This is probably the first time I've kind of went out target practicing and probably well since last summer. So this is Stacy's rifle. This the 6.5 Creedmoor. She really likes it. Um, we have a, uh, what is this, Voodoo Tactical Cheek Riser bag. For us, it, it's pretty perfect. You can change the padding, get get your, your eye right in, right in line. Without this, the Max Long Range has the adjustable comb. Without this, with this scope, with both have 20 MOA rails on it. You are, you are not in line at all. So we need to just find something there. Um, yeah, pretty much identical rifles, rifles other than the caliber. Uh, the brake, you know, if I could find a burnt bronze M11, I'd throw it on that Creedmoor for her because basically it reduces the recoil to virtually nothing. They both have the oh, oh, oh sorry, the oversized bolt handle. Um, both really nice, nice rifles, running pretty much the same hardware on them. So let's uh, get right to shooting. We're at 600 yards. It's a quarter inch steel plate, and we'll see the difference. I'm, I'm hoping the Creedmoor is stopped by the plate and the PRC punches through. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but but at this range. Um, also, if you look at, I'll just run it, run down the ballistics for you here. Uh, I figured this out earlier. Just give you guys kind of an idea for for drop. I'll, I'll put it in the video too. So we're at 600 yards. The PRC is 11 and a half minutes of angle. We need, or no, sorry, the Creedmoor is 11 and a half minutes of angle. The PRC, we need nine and three quarters. Energy wise, the Creedmoor is at 1237. The PRC is, you know, just about 1500. So for the Creedmoor, you know, that's kind of about the effective hunting range of this. I, I'd say 1200 foot pounds is about the farthest you'd ever want to take a deer sized animal, animal, if that. Like, I know there's guys out there doing it, and that's a whole nother topic we won't get into. But for me personally, with the remaining energy, I wouldn't go any farther than 600 yards on a deer. Elk, maybe four or 500. This one here, you could probably stretch that out to seven, 800. But we'll see what the plate has to say. And oh, uh, yeah, we'll get right to the fun stuff. Hopefully, we're on steel. I haven't shot this gun for a while, so hopefully. It's uh, still zeroed. Little high and left, right, sorry, so I'm gonna go a minute left. Ooh. 
go high and left, right, sorry, so I'm going to go. Bring it over about six inches. Elevation look good. Forgot about my cat there on those two. That brought it over quite a bit. Now we're doing it in the PRC. I shot one off camera and fouled and shot. I thought it would uh, actually be off. Off target, but it's a little lower, so I'll put four in, or even three, see how it looks. Left plate. Left plate. Bring it over three quarters of a minute. We'll have a look and see what we got. So we'll go have a peek and see what, what we got here. So 
Well, the first one off camera was here, and then I dialed up. So for the PRC, we'll count these ones. Um, this one here was a little, I think I went, instead of going right from this one, I went left, went the wrong way. So then if you could count this group here, not terrible. Probably a little better than a minute. Not the best shooting, but point of the video, you see the PRC is punching right through. Creedmoor is putting a good dent in it, but that uh, 200 feet per second makes substantial difference. don't need to flame me we know it we know the PRC hits harder but I just wanted to pick a metal that I figured the PRC might punch through and the, be held back by the Creedmoor at 600 yards and uh, I guess I got lucky it's quarter inch steel none in the bullseye though that's that's not good <laughs> again not the best shooting pretty good group on the Creedmoor here once I uh I don't remember the order, but that was not a bad group. It's a little breezy out today too, so not expecting the best gusting. But I'm gonna go throw this video together. Hope you guys enjoy. If you have questions about either guns, 